Hello, happy St. Patrick's Day. So it is not the St. Patrick's Day that we were all hoping for um, or wanting or anything like that. But I decided that I would share something with you guys. Uh, of course, yes, I'll, we'll sing a song. Um, and by we, I mean me. My sister's down the street probably dealing with her own things right now. But I wanted to go ahead and read, I post this every year, and I wanted to read this out loud so you guys can just hear it. Right now we're missing, one of the things that's frustrating me is we're reaching out to our neighbors and at the same time getting a notification that Italy shut down, London shut down, these things are shut down. And so it's creating this um, inability to process properly. And as a worship leader, one of my responsibilities is not just to lead a congregation into a song, but to find a way to process life so that it turns every aspect of your life into worship. And um, since January, I, I, got, I was sick with like a bronchial infection and I lost my voice. I lost my voice for a month and a half and it was frustrating because here I thought that this gift of mine was irrevocable, right? And it, it allowed me, it gave me time to process what God meant by that, what's irrevocable and what's, what his calling on my life is. And then Corona, the coronavirus started spreading in the United States and I was still voiceless and, you know, unable to sing and to lead the congregation into worship. And so I had to figure out how to make my life worship so that everybody around me could still find hope and, and still love one another compassionately because I am called as a worship leader to be a leader. And so it doesn't look like just song and a bunch of singing. It, it looks like what I do in everyday life. It's I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I am a musician, yes. I'm a teacher and schools are shut down, music schools shut down, everything's shut down right now but my heart is not shut down. Your hearts are not shut down. And, uh, and so we wake up today and we're reaching out to our neighbors. We're getting simultaneously notifications that things are shutting down and the world's erupting into this chaos. And so we're asking ourselves, God, what can we do? Uh, what, can, what can we say to one another? How can we make this new reality something that we can process? And, uh, you know, God just put a song in my heart, and I, I know Italy is going to do a lot better at it than I am. They're, <laughs> they're professionals, and they're playing the classics, and I cannot do that. But I can give you my heart. I can give you this prayer by St. Patrick, and then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sing. And if you guys want to join me, you can join me. And I'm not promising it's going to sound amazing because, like I said, I lost my voice, but I'm going to... I'm going to do this. My kids may interrupt, but that's my life, and I'm inviting you into it. I rise today through the strength of heaven, light of the sun, splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of the wind, depth of the sea, stability of the earth, firmness of the rock. I rise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me. God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me. From snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who desires me ill, afar and anear, alone or in a multitude. Christ with me, Christ before me. Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me, I rise today. So I'm going to sing you guys a song, and we're going to get through today. 
and we're going to arise tomorrow and we're going to get through tomorrow and what that looks like i don't know i don't know what our new reality is going to look like but christ is with us here we go Everything right now that is keeping you 
the chaos we are singing of your love to the king of kings who holds the world we will sing I am a child of God Yes, the world is changing. It's changing. We can't change that. <laughs> but we can process it the, in the best way that we know how. Which is extending our hands and our feet. And being the church. And loving our neighbors. And loving others the way we want to be treated. And We can do this, guys. We can. I believe in us. Christ is dwelling in us.